I was in the hospital getting chemotherapy. I haven't told you this. I was diagnosed with cancer in 2015. And I go walking in the door of the hospital. And as I'm walking in the door, this older lady comes out and she's thrown up in the bushes. And I looked over at my wife and I said, man, honey, we're, we're not in Kansas anymore. Like this is the real thing. So we go walking into the hospital and there's all of these people lined up looking out the windows. They're hooked up to the IV and they're just somber and they're quiet and they're just sad. And I looked at the nurse, nurse and I said, hey, where's the party? We got to liven this place up. And she looked at me like, are you crazy? Like, do you not see what's happening? But I really felt strong about the idea that we needed to do something to lift and, and change the mood that was in there. And so every, I was supposed to go there twice a week to get chemotherapy. And so I decided we're going to do chemo bingo. We're going we're gonna to liven this place up. So I went off and I got all these donations from other businesses. We had iPads and golf clubs and $100 gift cards and really neat prizes. And I would take the time and I would go sit with every person that was there. And I'd say, okay, John, tell me your story. Hey, Susie, tell me your story. And I was able to get to know everybody. And then we had this, this game. They shot me down on the chemo bingo. They thought it was going to be too noisy. But they allowed me to do this raffle. So I would do three winners every day. I would go up to people and say, pick a number between one and a hundred. And they were determined, a lot of them were so honoring. I don't win, I never win. It's, it's worthless, it's not worth it. I don't win ever. Or, you know, don't bother me, I don't wanna do it. Fine, 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 how much does it cost? Well, eventually I would get them to do it and I would make sure that those people specifically were the winners. Because of course they thought they weren't, so I would rig it so they would win. And they would just, it would blow their mind. But they became so happy for that moment. For that moment, it was as if they had hope. It was as if the world wasn't caving in on them and that somebody else cared. But the interesting thing about it, despite the fact that all these other people were happy in their worst moments, I was the one that was happier. I was distracted from my own problems. I was distracted from what was worrying me because I was focusing on someone else and lifting them up. And so in turn, I had the best experience when I was on chemo. I did that for three years. I gave away thousands and thousands of dollars worth of stuff from other donors. But it was one of the best life lessons that I, ca I could have. And that's, that's it. If you want to be happy, help others be happy and you will be happy. You want to be successful, help other people be successful and you in turn will be successful.